Okay, this video is about the equation of a circle. The equation of a circle is in this form. So x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared, where the center is ab. So the center is ab and the radius is r. So if, I, if you look at this equation here, we can see that the center will be 3 minus 4 and the radius will be 5. So as long as an equation of a circle is in this form, we can tell what the center is and what the radius is. So here we've got some examples that are in this form. So it just says write down the center and the radius of these circles. So if you want to pause the video, give it a go and just write down the center and the radius of each of these circles and then I'll go through them. Okay, so the first one, we've got a center of 2, 7 and a radius of 10. Second one, we've got 1 minus 8 as the center and the radius is 8. Thirdly, we've got minus 1 minus 6 with a radius of 7. And finally, we've got minus 4, 5 and a radius of root 20. Um, we could simplify that third or we could just leave it as root 20. Okay, this one says find the center and the radius of the following circle, but it is not in the correct form. So it is not in the form x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared. So what we have to do is we have to put it into the right form. So I'm going to firstly, I'm going to gather my x's together. So I've got x squared and I've got 2x. And I'm going to gather the y's together. So I've got y squared minus 6y. Okay, now what we have to do is called completing the square. So hopefully you know how to do this already. So for these first two terms here, we're going to put it into a bracket and it's going to be x plus 1 squared. So what we do is we half the x term. So the um, x coefficient is 2. We half it. It goes to 1. And then that becomes the bracket and we take away 1 squared, which is 1. And for the y's, we half the, x, the y coefficient. So that's minus 3. And we take away this squared, which is 9. So that leaves us x plus 1 squared plus y minus 3 squared minus 10 equals 6 plus the 10 over to the other side. So plus 10 to both sides. And now we have it in the right form. So now I can say the center is minus 1, 3. So that's center. And the radius is square root 16, 4. Okay, so here we've got another example. We need to find the center and the radius of this circle. So we're going to gather the x terms together. So I've got x squared minus 12x. Gather the y terms together. Equals 0. Now, I need to complete the square for the x terms. So I'm going to half the x coefficient and take away that squared. Same for the y's, I'm going to half the y coefficient, take away that squared, and I've still got my minus 40 equals 0. So then simplify in, I've got x minus 6 squared plus y minus 2 squared, I've got minus 80 equals 0. So that's x minus 6 squared plus y minus 2 squared plus 80 to both sides equals 80. So that leaves me with a center of 6, 2 and a radius of well, square root 80. Again, that would simplify, but we're okay to leave it as it is. Okay, here's a couple of questions that you can have a go at. So pause the video, give them a go, and then I'll go through the answers after. 
Okay, so the first one, we're going to gather the x terms together, gather the y terms together. So I've got x squared plus 6x, and I've got y squared plus 8y. I'm going to complete the square for the x's. So I'm halving the x coefficient and taking away that squared. And I'm halving the y coefficient and taking away that squared. So I'll go up to here. So we've got x plus 3 squared, y plus 4 squared, minus 25 equals 0. So plus 25 to both sides. And then we should see the center is minus 3 minus 4. And the radius is square root 25, which is 5. So same thing for question 2. Going to gather the um, x terms. Gather the y terms. Complete the square for the x's, so half the x coefficient. And take away that squared. Half the y coefficient. And take away that squared. So that gives me x plus 5 squared plus y minus 4 squared minus, minus 41 equals 9 plus the 41 to both sides. I'm going to go over here again. Plus the 41 to both sides. So I've got x plus 5 squared plus y minus 4 squared equals 50. So we can read off now center as minus 5, 4. Radius is root 50. Again, could simplify it, but we're going to leave it as it is.